Hey people, thanks for stopping by. And to give you a quick answer, will the NHD15 fit into Corsair's 4000D? Well, the answer is yes, with plenty of room to spare. But as always, there seems to be one caveat to consider, the RAM height. How tall is your RAM? But first, just a quick overview of the NHD15. Noctua states that the heatsink is 160 millimeters tall all by itself. And when you add the fans, Noctua says it bumps that total height to 165 millimeters. Now Corsair's 4000D airflow case states it can support a cooler height of up to 170 millimeters. And with some very simple math, you're gonna to think to yourself, yeah, it's gonna fit, right? But what Noctua doesn't know is how tall your RAM is. And there's the dilemma when it comes to a first time PC builder, or you have a PC you've already built and you're pondering, should I spend $90 and pull the trigger on this cooler? Basically $100 when you include tax. Am I right? Is this your dilemma? Hey, let me know in the comments. For my situation, I have standard RAM height, which is about 31.25 millimeters, but let's go ahead and round that up to 32 millimeters. I have two sticks of Ballistic Sport LT RAM, which you can use as a comparison to your RAM height. And with a quick Google search, you can find your RAM's height. Now let's take a look at the right side of the cooler. As you can see, the right 140 millimeter fan sits significantly higher than the middle 140 millimeter fan. And this is why. Let's take a look from the top. Here you can see the right 140 millimeter fan is sitting or kissing the RAM stick that's in the four dim slot, causing the difference in height. Now let's quickly take a look at how the middle fan is seated. You can see right there that the middle fan is kissing or resting on the cooler's heatsink screws that are keeping the heatsink attached to the CPU slash motherboard. Now I measured the fan height difference as best I could and I found the difference to be 5 sixteenths of an inch or 7.93 millimeters. But just to give us a tiny bit of room, let's just say 8 millimeters. Now to the best of my measuring abilities, from the top of the fan that's sitting on the RAM, to the glass panel, the distance is a quarter of an inch or 6.35 millimeters. But let's just round that down to six millimeters. So if we're doing our math right, with the standard RAM being approximately 32 millimeters tall, and with six millimeters of space before we touch or kiss the glass side panel, my brain tells me the maximum height of your RAM could be no more than 38 millimeters. But hell, no worries if your RAM is taller than 38 millimeters. And if you're an enthusiast like me, you can always get your hands on a 120 millimeter Noctua fan and switch it out with the 140, like I did in my previous case, the NZ XT H510. Now the H510 is smaller, having a maximum cooler height of only 165 millimeters. But as you can see in my old case, that 120 millimeter fan fits nicely under the heat sink. And I'm using the same fan brackets that I used to attach the 140. And as you can also see, I moved that 140 to the left side of the heat sink as a pull fan. Now the NHD 15 only comes with two sets of fan brackets, but if you screenshot your proof of purchase and email it to Noctua like I did, Noctua will send you free of charge an extra set of fan brackets. So if you want to pump up your cooler and have a three fan heat sink like this, then go for it. And FYI, it only took me about 10 days to receive that third pair of fan brackets. So in conclusion, just do your research, get multiple opinions. There's plenty out there. If you found this video at all helpful, please consider giving it a big thumbs up. And also please consider subscribing for my future content. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Thanks folks.